You don't. No, I don't. She's my sister, I love her, and I feel sorry for her. But she's brought this whole thing on herself. And none of this was Harry's fault? Absolutely none of it? Harry's a nice guy. Nice guys don't walk out on their wives without any warning. No, oh, he should have told her off years ago. You see the trouble with you women. You think because a man takes it, he's got to like it. Oh, uh, <laughs> is she okay? She's had a shock. But uh, she'll be all right in the morning. I gave her a sedative and she'll sleep through the night. Uh, tomorrow get this filled and give her one pill uh, four times a day. And you'd better have a check with me in a week or so, oh, just to be sure. thank you, Doctor, so much for coming. Doctor, I hate to call you away from an important meeting, but Dorothy was so worried. That's all right, George. I may make it back in time to speak. I was sure it wasn't serious, but you know how women are. Well, good night. <laughs> good night. <laughs> What'd I do? What in the world gets into you women? Oh, go to Bora Bora! <laughs> What's you so mad about? Mr. B, if you ever happen to get an important case, I hope it don't come up before a woman judge. <laughs> How come Aunt Dieter stayed all night at our house? She had a headache. What gave it to her? Eat your tuna sandwich. She said it was on account of that fight she had with Uncle Harry. I heard her. You think that was it? Well, it's her headache. If she had it, she ought to know it. Then how come Mother and Dad don't have a headache? Oh, you're full of questions today. Drink your milk. <laughs> they had a fight, too. Sport, your parents don't fight. Maybe sometimes they don't agree, but they don't fight. Are they going to make up pretty soon? I don't like it when they... Don't agree. <laughs> sure, they'll break up. I bet I know whose side you're on. Oh, well, you're real smart today, ain't you? You eat your tuna sandwich or you won't get no dessert. Mothers. Dad says women always stick together. Well, this time you're wrong, and your dad, too. This time I'm on his side. Athletic Club, Mr. Harry Thompson, please. I believe you checked in there last night. Mrs. Baxter. Well, would you please tell him it's very important? I see. Well, would you give him the message, please? He's there, all right, and he's not accepting any calls. Now, how do you like that? What is it, Hazel? Oh, I wouldn't think of butting in on a family argument. That's exactly what I've been trying to tell her. Unless there was a child involved. Well, Nancy is 22 years old and married. I ain't thinking about her, Mr. B. I'm thinking about Harold. You two better make up if you don't want to get him all upset. You should have heard the questions he was asking me. About having an argument? No, it's just a difference of opinion. It... Come on, George, we better explain to Harold. Well, you better kiss each other before you tell him if you want to sound convincing. <laughs> You know, uh, Hazel's a pretty wise woman. Let's follow her advice. Did, did you deliver my message? Well, will you tell him that I called again and please ask him to get in touch with me at at his earliest convenience. Thank you. He won't talk to me. Oh, well, get some tea and try to eat a little, Miss Thompson. I can't. Oh, well, you can drink the tea. How can I apologize to him, Hazel, when he won't even speak to me? Well, if it ain't being too personal, what was you figuring on apologizing about? B about what I said. Oh, well, I don't remember you saying anything so terrible. <laughs> well, of course, you, you did say he was out of his mind. <laughs> I was rude, Hazel. I was terribly rude, and he has every right in the world to be angry with me. Oh, well, Mr. Thompson won't mind that. He'll know you, you said it because you was upset. He's a very understanding man. Don't use that pseudo-psychology with me, Hazel. Come out with it. What should I apologize for? Well, maybe you shouldn't apologize at all. Maybe you'd be better off without him. Maybe he just hurt your pride. Oh, that's not true, Hazel. I love my husband. Honest? Oh, he's the sweetest, kindest, most lovable man in the whole world. <laughs> 